Dr. Austin and his team hypothesized that if this forest was developed the same processes as that in Spirit Lake, there should be very little evidence for multiple forests over long ages. They got permission to dig up some of the root balls of the trees. Just as they suspected, the trees didn't have spreading roots because they didn't grow there. Just like at Spirit Lake, these logs were ripped out in a catastrophe and deposited here. They found several other key factors which determined the trees didn't grow there. The tree rings all matched in size. There was no evidence of burrowing animals and the ash in the soil mostly came from the same eruptions. The petrified forests in Yellowstone were formed by catastrophe in very short order. The park sign, which told of multiple forests over millions of years, was taken down. The uniformitarian explanation of the evidence just doesn't hold up. At the beginning of the global flood, as described in the Bible, the rains came down and the fountains of the great deep were opened. It is believed these fountains were subterranean water and volcanic fissures. During the flood, the water pushed across the land, ripping up forest across the landscape. Some of these logs were buried instantly, but many floated to the top of the waters, creating giant floating log mats like those seen at Spirit Lake. In various places around the world, these logs would have begun to sink to the bottom of the waters and buried quickly in the sediments and ash. With the immense pressure from above, the heat from below and the right chemical mixture in the ash, the logs would have petrified quickly. Some secular scientists have told us that it takes long ages to petrify wood, but in reality, it doesn't take that long at all. Experiments have been performed in the lab which found that logs can petrify in less than a year. There's a whole industry which petrifies wood quickly and sells it as flooring in homes. Given the right conditions during the flood, producing a massive petrified forest would have been easy. Events at Spirit Lake have given us a miniature laboratory of scientific study for the way logs get buried in a catastrophe and give us a model for how things could have happened on a much larger scale during the flood. Real science is what we can study and repeat, then use those results to explain all the other features around the world, like at Yellowstone. Real science is good confirmation that the Bible can be trusted as Earth's true history book. Science, it's awesome. Mm -hmm.